What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again answering the questions that you ask me. Make sure you go to the ChazEllisProject.com if you want to get a consultation, if you want to ask a quick question, also if you just want to make a donation to keep us going. Go to Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook to be a part of some of the questions that I'm asking you. Also to check out some of the quotes and videos that I post. Anyway, the question that I got was basically off of another video that I did, um, How to Stop Hating on Yourself. I'll probably link that to this so you can check it out. Anyway, it was about, you know, how to stop hating on yourself. And then somebody was asking me, you know, um, more about, they like, can you give me some more information about hating on yourself and things that stop you from being successful? Um, you know, why is it that people quit doing the things that they do, you know, to be successful? Why, what makes them stop? What makes people just want to give up? Well, the number one pe reason why people give up is because of what other people think about them. This is one of the biggest things that cause anxiety in terms of fear, fear of failure. This is one of the biggest things that cause people to worry about outcomes. You know, as I talked about in um, stop ha How to Stop Hating on Yourself, I talked about the fear of the outcome or worrying about the outcome. Well, a lot of that is because of we, the fact that we generally care about what other people think about us. When you worry about what other people think, often it makes you worried and confused about what you're going to do next. It makes you second guess yourself and that often makes you just give up altogether because a lot of times during the period where you're actually trying to get started, the way other people view you and the way other people see you can cause you to just give up before you even get going. Um, just as like a, for instance, I was talking to a friend of mine and this is some years ago. This is like um, he was first starting out his business. Um, well, the first business that he started, he was first getting that started and um, he had a kid and uh, him and his, his girlfriend or whatever had broken up and um, his baby mama was talking a lot of trash to him about the business thing. She was like, you don't need to be trying to start no business. You need to be using all your money for the baby and you need to uh, keep working at this steady job that you have. <clears throat> which it wasn't really, a, I don't want to down the job, but it wasn't like a good job or anything like that. But it was, I guess, as steady as jobs can be. But she was saying that to him and she was like, you know, you know, you you don't need to be doing this because you're going to be a deadbeat, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, he was talking to me. He was like, man, I don't know. I don't know if I could get this business started. And I was like, um, and it was a couple of us. It was a group of us that, that were talking to him. And uh, we were just like, dude, you need to do your thing because you're a smart guy. You got a lot going for you. I think you would be successful doing whatever you're doing. And plus, you're not even with this chick. I mean, whatever her opinion is, and I know some people might get mad at me for saying this, but whatever her opinion, opinion is, is really irrelevant. I mean, she just because just she has a baby by you doesn't mean she can tell you what to do with your life. That's kind of crazy. You know, doesn't mean she knows what's best for you. That's not your mother. And even if she was, you don't listen to your mom like that. And she actually had you, not just a baby by you. And he was like, yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway... Turns out, you know, a couple years later, this dude got uh, several businesses, houses, car. I mean, he's doing pretty well. Actually, I'm going to ask him for a loan after this. Anyway, but that's just an example of somebody, you know, not listening to what other people think. Because even sometimes it's not as bad as like, you know, your baby mama or your baby daddy or somebody you used to be with or people you really don't care about. Sometimes it is family and friends and things of that nature. It can maybe even be your own kids. But you have to understand, like, these people don't know what you're capable of. They may be your friends and family, but only you know what's going on internally. You know, they don't know what you can do. All they're doing is judging the current situation that you're in. And that often causes you to take on their perspective on your life. And you can't do that. You got to believe in yourself and believe in your dreams because your dreams are what take you to the next level and take you where you want to go. If you let somebody else tell you, because they think, oh, don't quit that good job. Or what are you going back to school for? You got enough education. You need to do this. Or what are you, um, why are you breaking up with that person? Y'all seem to have a really good relationship. You know, now you're going to be by yourself. You know, you can't listen to people who think that. As a matter of fact, uh, I was talking to a girl a, a while ago. And she was telling me, this was actually a consultation that I was doing. And she was telling me about um, her dude um, basically getting mad at her because... She was trying to be with somebody else. And I was like, this dude don't even really see his kid or anything anyway. So why are you worried about what he thinks? You know, if he was just some random person on the street with the same credentials, would you really listen to that guy? 
Of course not. Find your happiness and do your thing. Don't listen to this clown. And I don't care if your mom or your dad or anybody is telling you not to accomplish your dreams. I've had people who their parents did certain jobs or whatever. And they were like, you know, you need to go ahead and get this degree. Like a friend of mine, he wanted to, his dad wanted him to get a degree in engineering because the dad and the brother have that. And he wanted to do his own thing. He wanted to, t you know, just go in a totally different path. And um, he, where he was doing construction. And I was like, look, man, if that's what you want to do with your life, that's you. You wouldn't be happy being an engineer. Then even if you made great money doing that, it wouldn't be what you wanted. So he ended up doing construction. He's doing very well now. But, I mean, you have to do your own thing. You cannot listen to what other people think. Even if, and I know this is going to be a sore spot with some people, but even if it's your kids, you know, your kids might be like, Mom, why you got to go back to school and you're working and yada, yada, yada. They don't know what they need and what they want. They don't understand that if you don't have money in your pocket 10, 15 years from now, they're going to be in a situation where it's going to be tough for them to go to school. They don't know that. They don't know that they're going to want things you know, like that car when they turn 16 and some of those things that you got to pay for right now with your blood, sweat, and tears. They don't understand that because they're little kids. Why are you letting somebody who still pisses on themselves tell you what you need to do with your life? Yeah, they're your kids, but they're not experts in anything. They're little kids. Of course, they're upset because you couldn't buy them those Legos right now. Well, they're Legos. Are you still playing with Legos? No. So that means it's not a big deal for them not to have those doggone Legos. You got to understand this concept. A lot of times we let people tell us stuff because we love them. And because we love them, we treat them like they're experts on our lives, our experts on lives in general. And in real life, and in, in actuality, they're not. They're not experts. A lot of times they are little kids. You know, I remember when I was a little kid, my dad couldn't make it to one of my football games. And I was really pissed off. I was like, Dad, he didn't make it to my football game. And I was over complaining to my mother. I, was like, I, just, I don't know why he has to go to work instead of going to the football game. He treated it work like it's more important than me. And my mother was like, boy, shut up. She was like, he going to work because of you. You the one that wanted those little cleats with the teeth on them. You know, the little Puma cleats that had the teeth on them. I really wanted those and I got them. Uh, he was like, you the one that wanted a visor. You know, you the one that wanted them brand new gloves. You the one that always wanted, uh, you got to have a starter jacket. Why can't you just have a regular jacket? Some of y'all may not remember when the starter jacket was like real popular, but it was back then. She's like, uh, you the one got to have all these little video games in your room and stuff like that. I got to get the fresh new video game that comes out. Well, that costs time. That costs money. And you said you want those things. You know, you, you got to sacrifice too. You got to be a part of this family just like anybody else. And I was like, okay, yeah. She was like, if you don't want those things, then your dad could be at all the games. I was like, you know what? I kind of like the stuff that I have. I like my life the way it is. I don't know if I, okay, yeah, maybe he'll miss a game here and there. Okay, you know. So I kind of understood. But some people don't explain it to a kid that way. You know, and they just be trying to apologize to the kid. First of all, my mother would never do that. She was always on some, look, this is why we're doing what we're doing. So you can have what you want in life, you know. You'll understand that when you get older, but right now you're just a little kid. And that's what you have to understand when you're dealing with your kids, your family, your, your parents, your, your, your friends. These people are not living your life. They don't know what you're going through to get to the other side. So if you start taking in a lot of what they say, it discourages you. And sometimes that causes people to want to quit. Don't quit because somebody else told you that's what you should do. Don't quit because somebody else um, told you that your dreams or your goals were crazy or because it's not going to happen or you don't need to do this. They have no idea because they don't know what you're capable of and they don't know what the future holds. Only you know what you're capable of and nobody knows what the future holds. So that's a big one. The biggest reason why people quit, whatever it is they're trying to do, is because they just care what people think about them. For myself, one of the hardest things about getting back up when I went through all the things that I went through was to just stop caring what other people thought and just believe that my vision and my goal was going to take me to where I wanted to go. Because eventually it becomes undeniable. And when it becomes undeniable, the same people who was telling you how crazy it was and how stupid it was will be the same people talking about how smart you are and how great of an idea you had. They have no choice. People don't really necessarily want to hate on you, but they don't want to believe until it's completely evident. 
Hopefully, I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody you know needs it. Also, go to the ChazEllisProject.com if you want to get that consultation or you want a quick question or you just want to make a donation to help us out. Peace.